lights in the sky form patterns, scatter, and move in perfect sync, as if controlled by an invisible hand. It's impossible. You just can't explain it. You start to speculate. They may be balloons, or maybe there are cranes controlling these lights. But then they rotate and fly over and around each other, and you run out of explanations. That's when technology becomes magic. What you can't see in the dark, the tiny lights are LEDs attached to quadrocopters, little drones that move through the sky almost noiselessly. They were developed by the Ars Electronica Institute's Future Lab in Linz, Austria. The drone's bodies are produced by a German company. The lab created the light designs, called Spexels, itself. They can produce any hue. First, we run them through a test routine. White, then R, G and B, red, green and blue. And using those three colors, we can create any colors we like. The drones are lined up in rows before they're launched. The choreographies are done using a software the team developed themselves, which also keeps the drones from crashing in mid-air. Every few seconds, a GPS system updates the computer on each drone's position. A computer on the ground communicates with each drone and directs its positions. At that point, we're only really on hand to monitor things. The swarm acts autonomously, in conjunction with a computer, which just runs through its programming. The challenge is to keep them up in the air, in their correct formation. Problems are often caused by the wind. If one of the drones crashes, a 3,500 euro piece of technology is wasted. So far, there's been no serious damage. The first show in 2012 in Linz was a big success. Almost 50 drones took to the sky at the same time, a world record yet to be broken. Soon, more requests started coming in. For example, from Umeå in Sweden for the ceremony launching its year as European Capital of Culture in 2014. Or from Australia, where the team drew a kangaroo over the skies of Brisbane. Spexos also added some real razzmatazz to a stage show in Sharjah in the United Arab Emirates. Some people wonder if the mysterious flying lights are objects from another world. That happens all the time. Reports keep showing up in the press about people in the neighborhood where we've been flying the drones having sighted UFOs. I think it's fantastic. Now Future Lab operates a fleet of 75 drones, but they have yet to take to the skies all at the same time. The more of these points of light in the sky, the more means of expression and ways to vary them you've got. The system as it exists right now could easily handle one or two hundred vehicles. And we've set ourselves that goal. We intend to achieve that and more. The fleet of drones is set for launch soon, this time on course for the United States, on a mission to dazzle audiences with their bright choreographies.